Well, as you know, uh, the French Parliament uh, voted uh, new law uh, during the summer, uh, named uh, La Loi sur le Renseignement. And uh, as you said, it's a kind of French Patriot Act. And uh, as any country, any modern country, we have to make a balance between national security and individual freedom. Uh, as an attorney, as a lawyer, I do regret that in our country uh, we do not have uh, the judiciary involved in that uh, process. In the U.S., even uh, in the, with the Patriot Act, uh, a judge has to give the green light, you know, to put someone uh, under surveillance, uh, like calls or computers. In this country, it is uh, an administrative commission. Uh, which is a part of, uh, you know, government. You know the United States, you know the, the U.S. political system, you visit the United States frequently, and obviously you know the political system in your country, France. Uh, today, um, the day of taping this conversation, Le Monde has published this article, uh, uh, basically saying that the, the Elysee has become like the Oval Office. How accurate do you think this description is? I think it is, uh, it is true and it is uh, wrong. Uh, it is true because uh, during a crisis, uh, our president uh, uh, here in this country may be very influential. And as you know, we are under emergency uh, uh, regulation now. And uh, we have in our constitution other uh, provisions which uh, can give uh, to the president uh, more powers like the Article 16 of our constitution. Uh, but uh, from that point of view, it, it is interesting to make uh, a comparison between the Oval Office and the Elysee. On another part, it is wrong because uh, we are not uh, a federation. We are a united country, one country, uh, and uh, état unitaire, as we say in French. And uh, also we have a parliament. Uh, you have a congress for sure, but uh, our parliament is more powerful, I, I think, from uh, some point of view than uh, in the U.S. So we have to make more balance between, uh, I would say, the uh, legislative branch and the executive branch. Yeah. And, and we don't have also the veto power that uh, the president, uh, the American president has. Yeah. Since the 13th of November, there's been debate here in France about the issue of nationality, whether people who carry two nationalities should be stripped in specific cases what is your assessment of the real thing going on here in France? Is it a discussion of terrorism? Is it a discussion? Is it about Islam? Is it about immigration? What is it in deep down, really, in your view? Well, to me, the, 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 the deep uh, problem is a matter of, uh, I would say, uh, culture and intelligence and understanding. Uh, it has nothing to do with Islam, to me, I think. Because as you know, uh, the guys who made that, uh, the attacks in Paris just betrayed uh, the faith and the God they were supposed to talk uh, about, you know. Uh, uh, we live uh, uh, with the Muslim community in this country since very long. I grew up in Algeria. I know the uh, Islamic world quite well. And uh, uh, it's uh, another civilization, but it's a very uh, rich and important civilization. So it is, it's a huge work, huge work that people in this country understand how important it is to um, get the, the, very, the very best from uh, diversity and uh, from uh, uh, people who may look different, but actually who are uh, a very positive uh, uh, um, uh, thing for the society and uh, and for economy too. I mean, uh, you talked about immigration. Immigration is a chance for the countries and for European economies, for sure.